I need a thumbnail. Maybe I do have a booker in there. No, there's nothing there. Is that the pen? <gasps> oh my god, I'm hitting pen. No basic zone. back with another video if you are new then hey boo my name is Stushy be sure to go ahead and subscribe to join the Stush gang we just hit 2k and we want you to join us for the continuous growth also ring that bell button so that way you're alerted whenever I upload a new video and right now if you're old if you are new be sure to give me a thumbs up down below we've been cranking out content all quarantine so make sure you give me a thumbs up down below don't just watch this video and not leave me a thumbs up don't just watch this video and not leave me a comment I want to know that you're here okay so today we are diving into my foundation foundation routine a lot of you guys have been saying oh my god your skin looks so good oh my god i really like your foundation what are you using okay um so, <laughs> so today i'm gonna be showing you guys what i've been using how i've been executing my foundation routine what my foundation routine looks like so if you ask i finally answered um i'm just doing what i normally do and every single time i'm trying to learn new things to improve my routine but today I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing so if you're interested in watching stay tuned all the products that I use today will be listed down below okay we're trying a new way of filming so let me know how you guys feel about how everything looks just be patient with me as you know we get the lighting and everything um, together so I have my mirror here I'm going to prime with my hangover to face primer this is what I normally prime with I honestly haven't been priming my nose just because my nose always sweats so I just want to um try to see if I can limit that as much as possible and I feel like this is a hydrating primer and I don't think it's sweat my nose is just always wet I can't explain it like I literally have a puppy dog nose it's always cold it's just the weirdest thing ever I'm sure there's a term for it but I don't know what that is but it's super annoying y'all and Stushy Jr. is still living on my face I haven't popped it just because I'm trying to get rid of some dark marks but Ooh, the temptation is real, y'all. Do we look too dark? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going ahead and I have a few packages arriving today, y'all. And I've literally been stalking every single tracking number. <laughs> it's crazy. I've ordered from so many places so far. How many places have you guys ordered from? Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercy A setting powder. This is in the shade translucent to put some on my nose. Stop it from sweating or getting so wet after my foundation is on i've tried and i have tried a lot of primers a lot of mattifying primers on my nose i haven't really found any that really keeps the you know water at bay or the sweat at bay now i'm going in with this um nars foundation this is the long wear radiant natural radiant long wear i said it all out of order but the natural radiant long wear in the shade macau and I'm gonna put it on my face right just like that and normally I just use NARS but today I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Mac I've been like playing in Mac as of late like I don't know what's what's been going on with me this one is damn near finished I think I have to open it up like that's how old this is shorty do you guys use your foundation up until its expiration date like I know some of them are six, six to twelve months do you get rid of it after even if it's not finished I still use it Things, these things are expensive okay and I just like to paint all over the face y'all see that um and the eyes girl I don't know what's going on but I'm sure that by the end of the video I'm gonna get it together by this point I usually look pretty crazy and if I haven't already concealed the top of my brows this is when I use my um brush to go over it just like this I already have but I'll show you guys just so you know and this brush is a Morphe brush. I, this is probably like one of my very first um, brushes that I've ever purchased. I bought it because it had pink bristles and you can see it now because it's damn near brown. But it had pink bristles and this was blue. I thought it was really cute. Now I got my beauty blender. This is, one is dirty. Well, it's a wet it, but it is like you guys can see dirty. I advise that you clean yours, but give be clearly I hadn't cleaned mine. Flashback. And Stushy Jr. is still living on my face. End of flashback. Didn't have time. So I'm just going to go ahead and bounce my foundation in. I normally use a um, 
buffing brush like this one this is from nyx this is the number three brush i'm kind of in a rush today so i'm gonna use my beauty blender but it's always either a brush or a sponge another brush that i really like to use this is real techniques 202 brush i'm just pouncing this in i know i look crazy Do you guys prefer to use a brush here to blend in your foundation or a sponge Again, this one is my beauty blender. I was in Walgreens yesterday and I was going to pick up a Real Techniques brush, a Real Techniques um, sponge. But for some reason, I didn't. I kind of like the Morphe sponges a little bit better than the Real Techniques. They work, but that would mean I would have to place an order on Morphe or on Ulta. And I've been doing enough ordering as is, okay? It is currently raining right now. And I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like filming when it's raining. It kind of just calms me down, I think. And I feel like less people are outside. I'll be able to film my video without our car horns in the background and people outside, you know. That's where we are with that. As you guys can see, she is still very much showing her ass. Blending into my hairline. Ordered some um, items, or well, two items for these edges, y'all. So I'm hoping, hopefully we could have um, edges by summer 2020, okay? Because this is annoying. I feel as though this may have occurred, um because I used to like always swoop, swoop, swoop edges and my hair was damn near always in a puff when I had like my curls. So um, I think that's the part of the reason why I'm like, I'm, you know, but, and like when I used to get washing sets, they would always just go ham around the perimeter, around the perimeter of my hairline. So I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 420. So I'm just gonna go over that with that let that marinate for a little bit then i'm going to use my concealer this is a Too faced concealer born this way <laughs> and this is in the shade maple or no this is in the shade mocha what is wrong with me and i'm gonna apply some down this way and bring it up in here i saw this little trick on tiktok where they did that and they did that I'm trying to be a lot more neat when it comes to applying my concealer. I feel like it helps a lot when it comes to blending everything out. And this is the lighter shade. And then I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the shade 11 or number 11. And I'm just going to put, put it right underneath here. And um, for contour, I'm going to use Espresso. This is um, Fenty Beauty's Matchstick. <laughs> I need a thumbnail. I need a thumbnail. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, as that's marinating, I'm going to go over this. Is she gone yet? Pluto, come and get your cousin Saturn. Okay. Now I'm going to start to blend out. Sometimes I use the brush today, as you guys can see. I'm not. Jamaicans would say, say the fired. Jamaicans speak Patois, fun fact, and it consists of broken English with some African dialect. Fired, forehead. See how we kind of just smushed it all together? Maybe I do have a booger in there. No, there's nothing there. I'm gonna take my, um, the Pro Airbrush Detail number 57 from Sephora. I'm just going to go over the edges of where I put that concealer down and just press, girl. Sometimes I do still color correct with this NARS foundation, but because I my, sometimes my dark spots still peek through, it does kind of color correct it for me a bit, but 
they still kind of peek through. I'm going to take the booty, the butt of my beauty blender and just pounce along these areas of where I put that Espresso cream contour. And the for, for the forehead, for the forehead, I like to bounce it like into the hairline a bit. I mean, my forehead's not that big. I really don't need to do all this concealing I mean this contouring. But I feel like being that I have short hair, the face got a back on that concealer side and just trying to have the two merge. Merge, merge. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Transluting, Transluting, Translucent Setting Powder again. I like to just dust some in the back of this and um, go in with my Beauty Blender. I always like to blow it off just because I feel like sometimes it's a lot, it picks up on the sponge. Press it in. Another low layer. And that's that. Now I'm gonna go in with some sleek face form contouring and blush palette. This is in medium 374. You see I'm hitting pan because that's what I use to contour. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I got this in a little set. I really like these brushes. And I'm just going over that with a light hand. I don't get too crazy with this because I am gonna also bronze. This is the part where I'll just go ahead and like go in here. I don't know what's going on with these eyes, girl. I'll fix it later. Now I use my micro smooth. This is from Sephora. Going in with this ginormous brush. This is from Real Techniques. This is the powder brush, right? Yeah, powder brush. Just tap into this. I love this product so much and just press. It helps to tone down the setting powder too. You go over it because this is more of like a finishing powder, a compact finishing powder for me. Okay, that is done. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. I love she. This is in the shade Mahogany as well. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to use that brush that I used for my contour. I don't, I always use, pretty much use the same brush and go over it a little bit is that the pen oh my god i'm hitting pen omg it's funny because i just thought to myself i'm surprised i haven't hit pan on it yet that little little speckle right oh there you go i'm hitting pan i don't know if i should be excited as i am but i mean i don't know yeah i yeah right <laughs> i think i'm excited because it i don't know it just proves how much I love the product. Does that make sense? It's a Bare Minerals blush. This is in Mauve Sunrise. It's a Bounce, bounce and Blur brush. I'm using my Real Techniques. This is a yeah, blush brush. The cheeks. Oh, my brush, my blush never picks up on camera, but it's there, y'all. I wanted to order some of the Fenty Beauty blushes, but when um, the VIB sale was going on, the one that I wanted was out of stock. And then when it finally went back in stock, I already placed my order. So I was hella tight about that. And then I also watched Jackie Anna's review. And she wasn't all that, you know, ecstatic. She wasn't jumping off the roof. And we value Miss Jackie's opinion. So I don't know. I might end up getting it. Like maybe when we get back to work, maybe I'll um, purchase it there. So certain things I just like to play with. First, play with it in store. So maybe. Or maybe I'll order it. I don't know yet. I'm going to go in with this Laura Geller highlighter. This is in Gilded Honey. It's so tiny. I never use this. Um, I cleaned out or organized some of my makeup a few days ago. And I found this and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's so cute because it has that little swirl action. Right? Isn't that cute? Yes, see that? Ooh. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Geller. She's cute or whatever. I'm gonna pop a little bit of her up here. Why not? We might go on TikTok today. We want them to see us glowing. And now that that's done, I'm going to set my face. I still have to finish my eyes, but the face is technically done. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist in Sweet Sweet Peach from the Morphe and Sweetie collab. So I'm just gonna spray. Yes. 
we're good to go so let me finish the eyes and get on my lashes and finish my lips and i'll be back for the outro see you soon like that we are finished so this is my completed foundation routine i hope you guys really enjoyed i did go ahead and finish the eyes i just put some um orange at the bottom i used the orange liner from nyx and i also used uh nyx white liner so i hope you guys again really enjoyed today's video let me know how you guys feel about this eye look at first i wasn't feeling it but i'm like we gonna pull through if you've made it to this point let me know what foundation you're currently using in your makeup routine down below be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join the gang thank you guys again for 2k shout out to you guys for that turn on your post notifications as well if you haven't already to be alerted whenever i upload and make sure that you also give the video a big thumbs up before you head out that lets me know that you guys enjoy videos like this so that way i'll continue to create you know dope content for you guys love you guys once again and until next time until the next video until the next upload hopefully stushy jr is gone by the next video we'll we'll see we'll see bye guys <laughs> This is the end of uh, <laughs> this is what my found that's what my foundation routine normally looks like.